name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are blessed to celebrate the memorial of Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque, Virgin, the one who, as you already know, received the revelations of the most sacred heart of Jesus and this very important practice of reparation to all, of all sins committed against the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the nine first Fridays of the month, as many of you already do this important practice. Jesus came to this nun, we are in the 17th century, to reveal to her and through her to all humanity the mysteries hidden in his most sacred heart. One might wonder why such a long time before receiving from Jesus, so to speak, this important devotion to his sacred heart. Actually, we have one reference in the Gospel of St. Matthew that we just heard about the sacred heart of Jesus. Jesus makes reference to his heart by saying, learn from me because I'm humble and meek in my heart. This is the only time when Jesus is pointing to his own virtues, to his own heart. So there is a foundation in the revelation about the sacred heart of Jesus. But uh, by uh, proceeding in history, that the importance of the humanity of Christ and the importance of devotion to the humanity of Jesus manifested in his most sacred heart was unfortunately lost especially right in the time when Jesus came to reveal to St. Mary, St. Margaret Mary this important practice, we are in the context of Jansenism. Jansenism was unfortunately a heresy, spreading that kind of reverence towards the divinity of Christ, but uh, to the point of uh, not giving that importance to the humanity of Christ, even to the point of despising the, uh, the humanity as manifested in our own belief, in the way of uh, taking, receiving the sacraments and celebrating the sacraments. So the humanity, according to Jansenism, was a kind of impediment to know the divinity. So they preached a kind of purity to be completely united with the divinity. And uh, this, of course, is a big, big threat to Christianity because we believe in an incarnate God. So we cherish the flesh as long as the flesh, the body, is uh, subordinate to God, to the divinity. So this is the importance of this revelation. This is why Jesus came in that precise moment of history to reveal the importance of his most sacred heart, to have a balanced vision of faith by bringing together divinity, the respect for spirituality in the highest sense of it, at the same time, the respect of bodily uh, uh, bodily characteristics of Christianity, such as sacraments, and uh, the way also to give importance to our own body without despising it. Jesus came to reveal the secrets hidden in his most sacred heart. At the beginning, the Saint Margaret Mary wasn't uh, accepted by her superior, but uh, Thanks to her spiritual father, who is a blessed, a Jesuit father, blessed Claude de la Colombier, who was very learned and able to discern immediately the fact that these revelations were divine, were coming from heaven, 
that message was spread, especially with the help of the, the Jesuits in the, in the church and in the world. And uh, the devotion and that revelation was important to come to the institution of the liturgical feast in honor of the most sacred heart, on top of the revelations given by Jesus to those who faithfully practice for nine uh, months consecutively on the first Friday of each month this devotion. So my dear brethren, let us today with Saint Margaret may return to the sacred heart of Jesus with the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary to investigate ourselves this unsearchable riches hidden in the most sacred heart of Jesus, as St. Paul teaches us in the letter to the Ephesians. There are treasures hidden in the most sacred heart of Jesus. And we cherish all these treasures, these practices, these devotions, in order to know also, as St. Paul says, the charity of Christ, which surpasseth all knowledge, to know the charity of Christ, the love of Christ. This is the very goal. And that love is hidden and manifested through the humanity of Christ, whose very center is his sacred heart. With Our Lady, we do veneration and we uh, make reparation to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.